What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rockefeller. Just wanted to do a quick video regarding uh, settings for when I game. Uh, what you see on the TV screen right now is Kratos and God of War Ragnarok. Okay, so I'm going to go into the menu. And as you can see, it's in game mode. Um, let's see. So I, of course, have it 16 by 9. Um, that's just how I roll. I don't do any other other stuff. And then um, for brightness, I have it set to 50. So, of course, you can uh, play with any of these um, settings, get it to where you like. Right now, I have it on, on 50. I, like, uh, I just like my, my games to, to pop a lot. Contrast, I have it 42. You can bring it down a little bit if you want. It just dims down the picture, as you can see. But um, I, I like my picture to pop. And then the sharpness, you can have it um, you know, lower if you like. I don't see a dramatic shift with the sharpness, but um, as it goes up a little bit more, it does provide a little bit more sharpness to the image. It's not as dramatic as what you think it is, but it's it's very minute. It's, it's in the details, but um, I will keep it somewhere between 10 and 15. So we'll just put it on 13 for now. Um, but yeah, I mean, usually it's on 12 or so, 12 or so. Uh, for color, I like mine on 30. Um, I know probably a lot of you guys will probably like it on like 20 because you want more accurate uh, images and stuff like that. Um, you know, I don't really like mine. You know, I, I like my food with seasoning. I don't really like it all bland and stuff. So I, I usually kick it up to uh, about 30. Anything over that is you start getting to like hints of green and reds and it's just overkill. So like I'll, I'll, I'll push it. And as you can see, it just gets brighter. Like the, the reds get way deeper. And if you have green on the screen, you'll see the greens do the same thing. So I try to keep it, you know, I like my image with pop and punch. So I try to keep it closer to about that 30 range. But like I said, anything over 30, you start delving into more red, like just really deep reds and then just overkill. So uh, I would say 30, maybe 32 you can get away with. Anything after that, you start, you know, it starts looking kind of crazy. So but that is that. Um, I don't really do anything with the tint. So we're going to go down to the local dimming. I like my local dimming on high. I do not prefer to keep it on low, especially for gaming. Um, it typically will kind of like lower the brightness level. Um, it'll lower the brightness level if you go to low. So I try to keep mine on high standards. Okay. Um, you can do that if you want, but I just, I keep my stuff on high, um, contrast enhancer. Um, I keep it on high as well. Um, uh, but like, like I said, I mean, I, I like my image to pop and so it brightens up the image You can see uh, a little bit more shadow detail. For instance, on the right side of Kratos, you can see it's kind of like really dark, um, up in that upper right corner. But as you Turn on the uh, contrast enhancer. You can see more into like the shadows and stuff like that. So I, I like that to be able to see my enemies and stuff like that. Um, let's see what else we got here. The color tone. Um, and I keep mine on cool. I know a lot of people don't really care for it, especially the purest out there. Nothing wrong with going to warm too. Um, I feel like it pushes red kind of hard or pink. Um, so I kind of go towards maybe a standard or cool. Um, standard will probably be the best. But cool, I like cool just because it, you know, kind of gives a more of a uh, a fresher look to me. Anyway, it's so warm just tends to make it look stale. I'm I'm more of a fan of the uh, the cool look. Um, the white balance, I don't do anything with that. I don't I don't do anything with that stuff uh, right now. I'm not a professional calibrator. Uh, the gamma set this uh, two zero eight four. Um, I don't really do anything with that, but I do do something with the shadow detail. Uh, you crank up the shadow detail, it gets brighter, but I don't really like it too bright because it'll wash out the image. The brightness really starts to appear and shine through. So I like a little bit of, you know, shadow detail to be cranked down a little bit only because it gives it more of a depth on the image. Um, when you crank it up, you'll start to wash out the image and I'm not a fan of that. So, um, you know, two or three, is, it should be fine. Actually, three looks pretty daggum good. So I may even leave it that, at that. But I, I usually have it on negative two. And then the color space, you can have it on auto or native. Um, I usually have it on auto. The native is not bad either. You can see like in the background, uh, the auto kind of like blows out the clouds. If you look at the, the clouds in the back, the blue and the white, the crank it to native, you can see more of a contrast between the clouds, like the dark blue and then the white clouds, the sky and everything. It just different so if you can crank it to native uh you know kudos to you 
Otto's not horrible or anything like that, but I think native is just a little bit better. And that is pretty much it, guys. Um, that is what I'd use for my settings for gaming. So now I'm going to show you guys some images of like when I game, how it looks. Um, just some really cool images. All right, guys. So as you can see, I am playing Spider-Man Miles Morales right now. Um, and <clears throat> essentially, I just wanted to show you guys that when I press the play button and hold it on my Samsung UN900B, you can uh, kind of play around with the, uh, the input lag, the, the game mode. Um, I have it at custom, so you can do like, you know, your standard, um, the RPGs, the RTS, first person shooter, sports. Um, but I just have it custom. Um, of course you can, you know, I already gone through my settings and what I like. So I just use the custom setting in there. Um, have the input lag on the fastest. Um, I don't really play too much with the input lag. Um, and then the VRR of course is already cranked on at the bottom. You can see it's, um, VRR is on and right now it's at the FPS or the frames per second is roughly about 75 to 80. And so it kind of bounces in between those. But um, yeah, man, this is pretty much how I have my, um, how I have it set up. It's very smooth, very fluid. I really like the settings that I've been using. Um, so I just wanted to briefly show you guys what my settings look like. Um, if y'all have any questions or if you have any other recommendations for settings that you guys use that would make my picture image look better or um, just as a community, Anything that you guys see that can improve, um, I'm always open to suggestions and uh, we all learn together. Um, more heads are better than one. So I am not a purist. I am more of a, I like what I like. And I like my, usually I like my images to pop and I like color, I like depth. But anyways, I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to, um, to let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do to answer them. And like I said, if you guys have any su suggestions, please put them in the comments. Uh, below like and subscribe hope all of you guys are doing well stay safe and game on <laughs>